just a very quick picture of the way I've got this set up so I can solder three pipes into this CO2 capsule. Don't know if it'll work, but that's what I'm going to try. Well, I've soldered it. I've pressure tested it. It seems okay. You might ask why there's two short uh, tubes and one long one. That's because I'm reusing some tubes that I've used before. So I'm going to have to extend them with plastic tubing, I think. Because I hate wasting anything. Melted some holes through there so I can put my pipes through. I've extended them. I actually had some little bits of aluminium tube left, so I've used uh, I think that's silicon plastic tubing there to extend them so they're all the same length. And that's an empty T light holder that I've pushed right through. And then I'm going to put uh, something else in there to actually heat this up. So I need to support this in some way to hold it at the right position. Can't do that with one hand, but we'll sort that out so the heat goes up here somewhere and the pipes stick out the back. For the replacement tea light, I'm going to try some of these solid fuel blocks for camping stoves. See if I can cut one of them up and stick it in the empty tea light tray. Oh, that's telling us it's already full. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens. Right, we're going to try the solid fuel. And I've also cut that to sit over there to try and keep the wind off it a bit because we're outdoors. Let's see if we can light it first. Yeah, this might be a problem. Can't tell if that's the light. Yes, it is. Right, let's put that round it. See what happens. Plenty of flames going on in there. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> That's going to be hot. Yeah. <laughs> First mistake. Heated up my um, heated up my wind guard so much it melted into the foam. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because now the flames are going everywhere and not heating the pipe, not heating the boiler. Well, we're indoors now. So we'll see if that solid fuel can heat that up enough 
to give us some action. Some bubbles. Question is, will it heat up before the boat melts. Oh, it's trying to move. Whoa! Is that all the water ejected? Got a nasty feeling it might have been. Well, there must be some left in there. You might guess I'm not too keen on putting this one in the bath with all the flames. Which is why I really want to do it outdoors. Looks like I'm going to have to put some map pins around it. Right, fresh bit of fuel.
it's too big much too big to go around in here <laughs> I think that's as far as we're going to go in this episode because it looks like this will have to go in the bath to go, doesn't it? Look at it. Whoa! Well, at least it's not smoky. So that's the solid fuel campfire tablets. But I've made it too big for the sink. that big squirt just then chucked all the water out and may not have sucked enough back in again into the boiler. Uh -huh. It is still going. In that case it looks like I need even longer tubes on there so that when it gets really hot it doesn't squirt all the water right out and it just doesn't suck enough back in again from the looks of it. I may be totally wrong. Squirted some more back in there, so it's taking a bit of time to heat up again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it works, but it needs a full-size bath, I think. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.